Chet. Chet. Hi, dudes. It's the Solar One Safe Fi Podcast. Right. Hello and welcome to this week's Solo One Sci-Fi Podcast. And over in the far corner is Core Club. Hello. And then we got Joe Science Fiction. And down below is Malcolm, who's got a lovely picture of uh, Kelly Brock. In yes, the yes. I, I was going to say, that's very nice. uh, yeah, that's a thumbs up from me as well. That's a and, very uh, good. And I'm no. uh, by the gods of Science Fiction, so welcome to this week's episode, which Thank is going to be sort of quite interesting. Yeah, it's going to be it's not it's be a slightly shorter episode because we're all sort of got st- stuff to do. But we want to talk about Weird Science, which is actually a good film, which I've not seen. I was just saying to Malcolm before we hit record that I've not seen it for quite a long time, but I watched it this morning and I really enjoyed it. Thoroughly enjoyed it. It's a good Fantastic. fun film. So um, yeah, so we're going to talk about that. But before we talk about that, we have got a few bits of sci-fi news-ish kind of things. We had another episode of Doctor Who, which was the one which was 73 yards, which I actually quite enjoyed, although it didn't give to me a proper explanation at the end. What do you two think about that? Martin, first of all, what do you think of that? I watched it on Sunday. Uh, I, I really got into it, but uh-huh. it was like 98% almost there. And then the ending was so lacklustre, yeah. like the whole event never happened. And I thought, it just finished it. It sort of went back to them coming out of the TARDIS. She had this feeling, don't step in that. Yeah. And and it just finished. And I thought, there must be something. But the music kicked in. And, but did you, did you and think... And it that, really disappointed me that moment. Because it think, was almost um, a masterpiece. Did you think it was kept vague for you to have your own interpretation of what the actual aspect of the problem was i thought was i thought i thought the twist of her that her future alternative timeline self mm-hmm. uh i thought that was brilliant i thought that was very clever it never went into why people ran away it never explained that and the ending they, i mean it, well, I, i'm gonna say it was 96 percent there well, it's, because it's it lost should have asked asked it's yeah, just lost because, two percent since you started talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it, did, it did fantastic, right? It, it had me up to, oh, when it was all about her, and and you got into when people were pushing her away, and you felt that. But I just felt that when people approached her, they all went mad and ran off, and it were like yeah. But uh, I thought I thought it was like a discontinuity because there are two versions of her at the same time. I thought yeah, it but was he a... still never explained why people. No, I mean, but, yeah, but, you, yeah, unit, but I... unit turned off. Unit it off, didn't off. they? Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, but, well, let me ask Malcolm. What did you think about the story? I loved it. I thought it was a great, great episode. Yeah, uh, I ballsy it, yeah. to yeah. turn yeah. to yeah. a doctor on only your fourth episode. But yeah. Obviously, he's off filming um, sex education. Sex, yeah, at yeah, time. yeah, that's right. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I think the end in was deliberately vague. Because you're going to get too. the payoff later on. I think you, we're going to find out exactly yeah. how that happened when we find out who the hell Ruby actually is. I think right, that's yeah. what's going to happen there. The idea of, of the people running away is really odd because you can understand random people running away simply because they find out that they're the same person. But there's no way that would make Kate, the rest of unit, or even the mum run away. There has to be a lot more to it than that to make right. the mum run off and our solo completely yeah. like cut yeah. her out of her life there has to be more yeah. to it than just be oh so, i'm her but years later and and an and, and organization like unit when that kate said to her you know we're in a witchcraft now and we've got we we have uh methods of dealing with this and they all ran off all yeah. of yeah. them and i thought what's going on and it, unless <laughs> this is going to come out three four episodes from now we get the answer because uh, at some point we're going to get the villain reveal i think, I think I we think are next, i think i think the weeks, because next two weeks we're going to see an opening of the but there, are, bad. there are only three more episodes aren't there there's four there's more there's next there's four, I mean, there's four. so it's next week the week after and then the final and then it's two past two yeah, exactly yeah. how uh, many episodes uh, is there then I, I thought there's only ten. eight there's only eight episodes not ten oh, it's only eight. There is. yeah which yeah. is why like uh, malcolm said that shooty gatwell wasn't in this episode much 
uh, which is a bit of a bold yeah. step because right. they've only got that many episodes. A, I thought they'd gone for a full sort of season, you know. No, well, I mean, it's, it's funny that most series generally now are going from eight to ten, eight, ten episodes per season, which is really short. And it's just the way that they seem to be doing stuff now, generally, not just the UK stuff, obviously American so, stuff as well. So, so I assume the, the big reveal is episode five this week. Well, next week's apparently well, it's going to be, um, it's going to be like, reveal. well, no, apparently the next episode is going to be like a Black Mirror episode. They, that's how it's been described by people. I like Black Mirror. I think yeah, Black I Mirror, and I think most people do, it's got some <laughs> fantastic <laughs> stories. <laughs> And apparently it parallels like that. It's like a Dot Who Black Mirror episode. What that entails, I don't know. But I have to say, you know, on the whole, this this series is actually seasons. It's going along quite well. It, I'm not. You know, I'm definitely, think, I'm mellowing a bit to it now. Do you know, I remember after when we saw the Toy Maker thing, and then we got the Christmas Day thing, uh -huh. and the propaganda. I mean, the online hatred of it were pretty bad. Sure. People wanting press, and and you start floating along with it to a point. You think, well, but when this started, we got Space Babies, and yeah, that was not I a sat good there start the season. I thought, that was this not a good start. Is, uh, I, I were on verge of bowing out after that. Yeah, I, I then, thought it was pretty poor. Myself. And the last three episodes, I have to say, I've been very impressed. I, I, enjoy them I, I have to say, yeah. so a lot of that uh, negative criticism. Yeah, I, I feel. Online, I feel in a much pushed away. I feel in a much better position now than I did um, yeah. three or four weeks ago, which is a, good, a compliment yeah. to everybody involved. Because, you know, um, I, I'm not saying it's perfect. I think there is obviously the tick box agenda thing, which we've talked about many times before, which which is just part of the show. But it always has been. I think Malcolm said that before as well. I mean, even back in the uh, Captain Jack days of the 2005 series. Yeah. So I, I'm okay with it. I'm, I, let's see how it goes. I'm not. We're not there yet. But it's, it's, it's so far, it's it's been all right. It's 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 been okay. Uh, it's not brilliant. I don't think but we've it's... ever seen before the uh, the brutal hatred. Like if you look on YouTube now, I've sent you. Yeah. Account, oh my god! Just the, the venom massive there. amount of yeah, YouTube yeah. channels. Yeah. Yeah. Going. Big, and there's, big this, there's this one guy. Yeah. I won't mention yeah. his name. There's this one guy in a load of the groups on Facebook, who just mm. like constantly slags the show off he's even started his own facebook group which is supposed to be like a random sci-fi <laughs> show and all it is is him posting clips of lost in space bizarrely enough of dr okay. smith says says doctor who or dr smith says oh it's really failed and it's just that yeah. and he's doing it yeah. in every group i mean they're all slowly removing him because he just if anybody asks him what he didn't like about it he's got no answer he just think, it's, shit. it's just it's just shit it's really funny i, I yeah. think it surprised people and I quite like that, that if they can keep this momentum going till episode eight, mm. and if they can do that, I think they'll pull the blinder. Because all the hate for it will be so... Because um... people, I've got friends have said they were going with it as, well, I'm not that... Oh, I don't really know if I'm going to watch it. Yeah. And so now we're getting messages over at weekend going, this is, you, you, you need to watch this. So I, it's the. I mean, I'm hoping it'd be nice to see all that go the other way, but mm -hmm. let's see how how long this three episodes so far we've done well. Uh, but, four. You know, it could four? four no, we had four now. We no, had four Space past Babies. the Christmas. Space Babies were a bad one. Yeah, that was that was really the worst possible start off for the yeah. series, which yeah. uh, lost yeah. some viewers. But and apparently, the viewing figures have gone back up again since episode one. It's it's slightly higher. Six hundred thousand. It went up on Saturday. Yeah, it, it's gone up to. I think it was um, just above Space Babies, which was the highest until. So I don't know. I mean, like I said, um, let's see how it goes. But it's okay. It's oh, a, it's it. a shame that, that she's leaving because I really, I really do like her. Yeah, but we don't know that. I've heard that she is actually in season two as well. Um, yeah, she's in no, yeah. season two. Yeah, she's is in she, season two as well. Yeah. Two. Right. So I think I don't know whether she's gonna be in every episode. Obviously, there's gonna be the, the, the new companion, the one that's been in um, Rogue One, not Rogue One, Andor, mm. the actress who's Andor, in Rogue yeah. yeah. Um So yeah, let's let's see how it goes. At the moment, it's it's a cautiously, it's a thumbs up cautiously, but it's early days yet. Well, it's halfway through already, which is very short, isn't it? Eight episodes in a season. I mean, that's short. Yeah. I mean, we're all that's well way too it. short. You know, halfway I mean, that, now. 
No, exactly. So, anyway. Um, now, obviously, Malcolm has not seen it, but we're near the end of Discovery. Um, uh, 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 uh-oh. I've not seen it. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, then no, I'll listen to it. that. And, 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 no, let, let me explain. Next let, week, let no, next week explain. we're doing a review, aren't we? Next week we're, right. we're actually talking about it. No, that, that's, uh, that, 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 that's what I thought. So what I'm going to do is, when the tenth one magically appears, appears as it does, yes. I'm all three together. I'm gonna binge all together. Right. Okay. Right. All right. By um, next week. Uh, Only we all might... three. You get that. You get off, and then it finish on a high. Yeah, I mean, we might have. And next do you remember, week, um, do you remember Nick from Night Side Fanatics? He might be coming on next week with us, so uh, we, he might want to review. It. I'm, I'm on his show next week. So um, he wants to talk yep. about it and stuff like that. So I don't know, Malcolm, you're going to catch up before next week. But if you want to join <laughs> us, you're perfectly welcome to. If you just want to chime in from your perspective, just give us a shout for next week. But, uh, yeah, next week is the end of Discovery. So, so um, it's a Discovery episode next week, then? Is it, yeah, is it, it the is. end of it forever? Like That's the it, finale? yeah. It's, it's the finale. That's it's gone. the finale. <laughs> oh, so it's going to go down. Uh, they're gonna, at the end of the episode, Black hole anomaly appears and sucks them all in. No, Riker's going to appear. Forever. Riker's going to appear. Check it's all, hol- it's all a holodeck um, uh, no, program, no, and it's going to be freeze program, no, and that's no. it. Yeah, like we did with Enterprise. Which I Riker. still didn't mind. I didn't mind Enterprise. It, it, it won't be Riker. It'll be Rod Serling. Oh, what? It's what? Like Rod a deep fake of it? He'll say, I've, I've, I've put you through this shit for the last five years, so I want to uh, suffer. No, so I think it'd be Charlton Heston say, damn you all to hell, and he'll <laughs> throw his fist down, and he'll look at Michael Burnham and tell her to fuck off, and that's the end of it. <laughs> um, <laughs> any other news? What, what else have we seen this week? I have now got Fallout. I'm going to be watching Fallout uh, soon. I um, because everybody's been saying, check it out. And I'm gonna yeah, you need to watch that. You need yep, to watch to. that. Yep. It's fantastic. Brilliant. Um, what else is coming up? Andor, not Andor. Uh, the Acolyte's coming. Acolyte. In a of Acolyte, time. Acolyte, fifth. Acolyte in a week. It's yep, arguably so. the only series at the moment that seems to be getting more hatred than Doctor Who. And it hasn't even aired yet. Yeah, but it's do mad. you think that's... I mean, uh, it's I crazy, isn't it? Isn't it? I have to ask you both. I mean, I mean, a lot of the hatred actually is actually for the older fans. Do you think it's just the nature of the fact that us fifty-somethings um, are in that generation where we just become more? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm. I think I'm quite open-minded to stuff, but a lot of people my age. Like, oh, I, think, God. I think it's. I think it's kind what of. Is it? But I think it's kind of like people had their very own idea of what the past. Jedi, the, the the Grand Republic, would be, yeah. made largely based on that computer game, and they're never getting it. That's never ever what we get. So I mean, I just I just recently read the first half of the Knights of the Old Republic uh, comics. Yeah, yeah. That I got, and even that, I was I went into it expecting to see the Jedi back, and they're not. It's just some crap story about a, another little student who all his Jedi masters kill all their, their Padawans, and then he goes on the run from them. So you're still not getting what the universe was when when yeah. when the you know when the jedi yeah. with like the police force and all that which i think is what the older people really really want but it, it makes I me wonder the, uh, whether um uh star wars really should have just stayed on as a movies rather than actually these tv i mean uh, the mandalorian actually has been proved to be quite a successful show at least the first I, two I seasons think, i think the problem is because where that generation that saw the originals at the cinema and that's, that's sort of like put our perspective differently so. for the new yeah. stuff. Yeah, it it's, like, it's, it's like Star Trek, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah. the thing about you know. The Mandalorian is, take Cutie Grogo out of that series, is it any good? Take the I, little I, cute Yoda I, fella out, it, it, would it stand well, the What do you think of it? I mean, I've never really... I mean, do you like The Mandalorian yourself? Do you think it's... What do you think I, I, I kind of, I kind of did... I like the idea of it. But what always struck me as really stupid on the whole thing was they, they bring out the Mandalorian because they wanted a Mandalorian who was a good guy. So rather than use Boba Fett, they came up with a completely new character. Yeah. And then they go and bring Fett. Boba yeah. Fett yeah. back anyway in his own series as a good character. And I don't I don't understand why they did that. 
the know, problem the problem was when Mando come out, it sort of like it ended up messing it up for Boba Fett's return, didn't it? You know, it really yeah, because he looked similar, yeah, and obviously, yeah, 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 Boba Fett was just like a he was more like yeah. a diplomat kind of thing. He was just yeah. a, a, a peace peacemaker or peacekeeper rather than actually a soldier or a warrior, which is a oh, bit weird, hunter. you know, a bounty hunter. Yeah, so uh, I don't know. I mean, like I said, I don't I, I do anything some... new, but. I think sometimes, because we've grown up around, I mean, we've all got our doctors, you know, Tom Baker and Pertwee, and, and we all sort of Star Trek, Captain Kurt, and then we've got the 90s, the golden age of Star Trek. That that is imprinted in us to a certain standard of what we think yeah, but when you, should I be mean, there. I, I've been watching some old Next Generation episodes. I've been watching, like, Yesterday's Enterprise, Best of Both Worlds, and I'm sorry, but they're just so well made some of so many of the episodes are just are. so well made and they it's are. not it's not well, me as an older person watching it as an old show it it everything about it the acting the direction that the the it's just the, everything about it it's just so well written well, and a lot of stuff these whole, days just isn't done like that there's a whole younger generation behind us that say all this differently I mean, you've yeah, got, but like, how can you when it's so well made? Well, I don't well, understand. I, that. I know. Well, because it's like it's like it's like Doctor Who, isn't it? You know, there's a whole generation that Jodie Whittaker will be their Doctor. Yeah, they, absolutely. They, and yeah, and then 15, 10, 15 years down, they'll be like us. Oh, it won't like it how it will with her, will it? And, or old Capote. There's a whole generation. It's they're strange. more open-minded. They're more progressive than what we are. I think we're quite progressive people but yeah, there's a, like agree. they were brought into a world like like malcolm says like the hate that like the acolyte mm. that the, the amount of hate that's getting oh most yeah of it it's not even started from, yet it's from people not even yeah, yeah. I, I, that's it, exactly not what i'm from saying the that younger ones the youtubers which we've already talked about like on facebook like malcolm's mentioned a lot of them are people our own age who are slagging up this is shit 40 up. 40 upwards. Yeah. 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 And it's that, that's a weird. I mean, I think, like, um, I think we're relatively open minded. I mean, if we say it's shit, we will say it's shit. We have already, but then this week's a prime example. Doctor Who's come back in the last couple of episodes. We've actually said, well, look, you know what? That's pretty good. I, I don't mean, mind I mean, that. Think, Not I mean, just people hate. It. If you'd have gone with all that negativity on, I'm not going to mention YouTubers or all, but sure, yeah, yeah. <laughs> on the reviews, if you'd have followed that. And there, because I've seen some really freaking out over it. Absolutely. And you'd have followed yeah. that and not watched it and think, oh, well, there, I'm not going to bother with this crap. You know, then, then you're missing out yourself. Do you know what I mean? You've got to, I go with your, what you said to me a couple of months ago. I, until you've seen it, you can't make a judgment. No. You can hear the reviews and people can slag it off and say this. Well, so you've seen it yourself as an individual, individual as an individual. Precisely. It's not up yeah. to yeah. people out there to say you should not be watching this. It's yeah. up to you as an individual yeah. to say, actually, yeah. you know what? That was really good, or no, that yeah. was that was complete shite. You know, it's. It, uh, I mean, normally, you know, you and me, Martin, we're quite like-minded, apart from the Atlantis thing mm. the other week, which, um, oh, gonna, which we're not going to bring up again. Look, Malcolm, <laughs> did you watch it? <laughs> Not yet, not yet. It's Don't get Malcolm into it. He's in the middle now. He's not seen it. He might what like. I, what, I, what I did watch, uh, because you mentioned it a couple of weeks back, was the Outer Limits episode, The Soldier. I watched that for the first time, oh, which I thought was quite good. Yes, I, yes I, it is. I do you know what? Right, I still don't get the whole beef of of like, oh, the Terminator robbed it. They're not other than two guys going back in time. It's not yeah. really the same yeah. thing at all. No, they just took a bit of the concept yeah. didn't they yeah yeah, yeah exactly exactly yeah. fantastic yeah. episode though michael and sarah brilliant oh michael and sarah yeah. of course he played oh. kang on next uh, on Star Trek, didn't he? Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, yeah good actor but i don't know i mean like i said we are our channel is never going to be a pure hate channel we will say if we don't like it uh, but we will also say if we like it and there are so many youtube channels who are just hate 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 and people are subscribe and i don't quite know you know, I mean, I was more on the negative of the current Doctor Who era, but at the last couple of weeks, I think myself, actually, you know what? It's 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 not all bad. There are elements about it which are they are trying to at least um, signify that they are trying to be creating stories which can appeal to people of all ages. So I'm, I'm, to I'm, me, I'm happy. To me, if they'd have if they'd have not bothered with Space Babies, 
Yeah. I still wouldn't have liked Devil's Chord, but I would have at least accepted that the show was getting better. Yeah, it was a double if whammy, wasn't it? Them, yeah, yeah. yeah I, had, I agree with that. If we had so far was Boom with that. and the 73 Yards, I would accept yeah. that this is a really good series, yeah. or potentially really Absolutely. good. Absolutely. They got it yeah. wrong with yeah. the actual order. If they could have done it... That yeah, exactly Space right. Baby should have just agree. ended up on a cutting room floor. Yep. Completely agree. Anyway, we, we shall see. We've got another, uh, what's it, four or five episodes to go, so we'll have to see. So I think at this point, because obviously we're going to be a bit rushing today with um, our uh, uh, stuff that we need to do, we're going to do the actual Focus of the Week. So let's go into the jingle. Here we go. It's the Solar Sci Fi Focus of the Week. Okay, we're back. And so we are now doing the film, which is actually Weird Science from 1985. A great year for movies, a great time to be alive. And when I watched this today, I thought to myself, it brought back so many memories of all sorts of things and just the way that they made those films back then. Um, and um, it is a science fiction film because this female is created from... I don't know how she's created, through computer technology or something. She just appears. Um, and it's obviously a 80s a comedy film, but it is a good film. So let me ask uh, Malcolm. First of all, let's ask you, what did you think of Weird Science? Yeah, I loved it. I, I loved it back in the day. I thought it was a great film back in the day. It's from a staple. I've had it on DVD for years. I haven't watched it for a long while, but then I did watch it sort of two weeks ago, just on a whim. Uh-huh. Right. Um, but Kelly LeBrock's fast, it's fantastic in it. It's not just that she's good looking, it's her accent as well. Her English accent and uh, against the American tra- backdrop. You are, she wanker. It's like, yeah, I love yeah. all that. She's, yeah. It's exactly the same in The Woman in Red, just her English accent yes. just seals the deal for it. Um, the two guys in it, obviously, Andy Michael Hall was a staple of Hall, the John yeah. Hughes yeah. era. The other yeah. guy, I don't really think I've seen the other guy. He no, he's else. disappeared. Andy um, Michael Hall's been in a few But he's also quite guy. good. Bill Paxton, obviously, a legend. Oh, he was so good and, um, as a brother, wasn't he? Robert, yeah, Downey, yeah. Robert Downey Jr. That's it, yeah. yeah a a yeah. pre drugged up Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought that would have watched it today. Yeah. I thought myself, know, all the stuff that he's put into his body since he made that film is like he wouldn't want to know what he's done since then. But go on. You know, you become so invested in them too in that film, don't you? Yeah. You know, when they create these situations to give them a bit of bollocks in life, you know, both of them. And and, and the whole journey of it, because you know, I love the scene, you know, where they go around and meet his parents, she says to her, she says to her mother, Well, you know he does in bathroom, don't you? You know, and then, and you know, he's pulling off it now. She and she's like oh, he's going, Mom, no, no and then she pulls the gun out on the dad and he Oh knows I know Yeah oh, I'm going, who's that, who's that, you know. It's superb. Bill Paxton's such a wanker. He's brilliant with that in haircut, that with a flat sort of like flat top <laughs> haircut. And, and like, the, like the, remember the grannies who were like stuck frozen in the wardrobe yeah. and like, yeah. the fr- <laughs> like that. There's so many moments in this movie which I've forgotten about until I rewatch it today. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that guy who's, who's yeah. that, there's a guy who's actually in that um, film with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, he was. Oh, what was it? It wasn't Predator. There was another one. Command was it Commando? Oh, Commando. Yeah, Commando. The, the the guy in it who plays the one of these weird kind of Matrix, biker guys. Yeah. Yeah, oh, he's um, the, he's the uh, yeah. It, 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 you don't say you don't realize it. He's the one he has the big fight with. Yeah, in Commando. Yeah. He, that's it. That's the, the same accident. Is that yeah? The, the other one who were in the squad and got kicked out. He's the insane one. That's, that's him. Right. That's him. That's him. And I, I you don't realize. That is him. He's in Mad Max as well. He's in Mad yeah, Max yeah. as well, Virtually playing that same character. character in Mad Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah identical. Okay. Yeah, I've never seen Mad Max. I saw the one that we, the newer one that we saw, we review with. Um, was it Tom ages ago? That um, there was another oh, one. Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy. Yeah, Tom Hardy. I think I quite oh. enjoyed that. But I never saw the original Mad Max, actually. I, I don't know why. Really? It's just one of those films. It's a great film. I again, I watched it the other day. Again. It's a Mad Max. I it's a great film. Great. I'll, 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 I love all of them. I've yeah, not yeah. seen, is it Fury, Fury, Fury also? No, I've heard of it. That's, that's, that's the sideline spin-off, isn't it? That's oh, is it? Like this, it's, yeah, she was in the last Mad Max film you saw. The hell okay. that were driving the, the, the tanker. Well, they made a film about her character. Pre-Mad okay. Max, 
Yeah. yeah, you're definitely going to watch it though. The first one is the first one is a great film. It's a little yeah. bit boring. I've got to be honest, but it's still a great film. And yeah. then the guy playing the villain in the first one also plays the villain in the Tom Hardy one, but they're not yeah, the same so, character. Yeah. It's the same yeah, actor, yeah. but not the same character. It's, it's, and everybody's yeah. trying to tie it together as to how they can be the same character. But this yeah. this I, movie, I like um, Thunderdome. I really do. Oh, like Thunderdome. Thunder yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that was okay, but yeah, but it wasn't. I found that the character regained his humanity in that, and I quite like that. Yeah. You know, I, 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 my vision is I'd love to say Mel Gibson as old Max, you know, in his 70s, still out there in the wilderness, you know, and it's his final sort of bye bye. I think they should do that. That's for me, you know. That's for me. Yeah, no, I agree. We're going off top. But this, no, but this film actually reminded me of um, a lot of 80s movies like Ferris Bueller's Day Off. A license that. to drive. There's a lot of those mid '80s films with teenagers to drive, in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it, it had that vibe to it. But obviously, it had this sort of like this weird kind of computer program where she's. And later on, they tried it again, but it ended up making a big bomb or something, which actually came through the yeah. whole. Yeah, they had to get to connect the doll. Yeah, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, exactly. And then they, they, they had a toy bomb or something, didn't they? And that's why they did it. Is but... that where the nuclear missile comes through the front row? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah. Very, very yeah. bizarre. And then Bill Dad, 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 Dad. there's something to do. There's something about that. That was such a massively expensive scene. The, the missile coming through the floor. Yeah. And I think Robert, uh, one of the one of the guys like Annie and Mike or oh, Robert Downey Jr. messed it up because they coughed or sneezed or something at the wrong point. Oh, and then no. they had to do the scene, but they, they they had to do it backwards and then play it forwards on the film because he'd messed up the whole scene. There's some story like that. You have to look it up. Okay. I can't remember the exact details, but apparently he fucked the whole scene up, and it was the most expensive scene in the film. Yeah. <laughs> but it was a good film. I mean, like I said, it was it was an unusual film, but I like the fact that um, it balanced humour, coming of age, kind of hormonal teenagers kind of thing. This idea, and obviously, what's the actress called who plays um, Lisa? Kelly LeBrock. That's it, Kelly LeBrock, and she was in like, um, like Lady in Red, was she as well? Yeah, woman in red. Yeah, woman in red. Yeah, she yeah. married. Yeah, uh, she got married to uh... Stephen Seagal. Yeah. Uh, oh, really? Stephen Seagal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, um, Malcolm, you mentioned there's a TV series version of this. Yeah, yeah. What's yeah, that? Yeah, so watched... uh, Vanessa Angel. Yeah. Yeah. I watched so what's maybe that the like? First four episodes. Yeah. And um, so it's it, it's the first four episodes certainly are very good. Um, it is uh -huh. quite funny. It, it, if you imagine it's still set in the eighties, so it's still that kind of vibe yeah. but obviously in the film uh, lisa is geared towards getting them girlfriends basically and increasing okay. the popularity yeah. the tv series yeah. ran for i think five seasons it and that's more about well. they have a they have a little problem every seemingly every week and mm -hmm. she helps them deal with it like one week the, the guy gary um wants to uh fast forward the, the, the ship is boring bits of life so she gives him a remote control that allows him to fast forward through bits he doesn't like okay and, that, and that causes all high things so the guy playing gary is very on on character and he's like kind of the mischievous one that gets him in trouble the other guy that plays wire is again very very good and he's like kind of the you know the the conscience of it all vanessa angel we know that she's an absolute babe and does really well as lisa star one yeah. yes, yeah, the one, the one yeah. let down is the guy playing the brother the bill paxton part he's yeah. just they've centered it on the fact that he's an idiot and they've just yeah. centered it around that so that's all he is is an idiot yeah. that lisa yeah. keeps slapping down all the time and the show would be much better without him in it or if it was okay. played better but i've only seen four episodes i i've seen most of it I picked i've never seen it i've never even I, heard of it until I, I found the box set in a charity shop about 12 years ago and sort of watched it on and off and at first it because I, I have you seen the Ferris bueller series no, no, I know there is. I, 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 I thought it'd be like that. That is fucking bad. It is terribly. That's why it got cancelled. But I was very surprised by Weird Science the series. I thought after about five or six, I thought this is actually quite funny. Is this? But you're right. They did stereotype the brother. So was when like was it made? When, when was this? Um, when was the TV series uh, made? A couple of years after the film. I oh, so it's eighties again. It's, it's it's okay. But no, it was a few years after the film. I might check it out that because I, I love the film. I love you've, got, the film. So you've got to realise the other thing as well that Weird Science opened the door to series like Automan. It's the same oh, concept. Oh, God. Yeah. 
Yeah. But it is the same yeah. concept. Yeah. Yes, it is the a similar concept. concept. It and is. That one's yes. terrible. That one's fucking terrible. That one. <laughs> <laughs> we actually reviewed I, that. I Did we all to mail? It was potentially yeah. good. It was potentially good, but it was very, potential. very bad for yeah, but Auto Man is. Auto One thing pleasure. I remember about Auto Man is just what Melody Anderson fell back yeah. on after Flash Gordon. Could, yes, could you imagine yes, you're, you're, yeah. you're Melody Anderson? You've got this part in Flash Gordon. You think you're brilliant, and then on either yeah. mutiny walks out in that bikini dress she has yeah. on, and you just yeah. think, "Well, that's me, sideline." <laughs> oh my God! Some of those eighty shows, like Manimal was another one as well. It's like, oh my oh, God! God yeah. was... oh, fuck. I've got all of these on on disc somewhere. Yeah, I've got them all as well, no, and I don't no, care. No. They're, they're they're just they're uh, products of this time. Love, I love them. I, I mean, Malimal, it's it's complete wank, but it's good in it. Yeah, you know what I mean. It, the only thing I remember with Malimal is I'd like to I'd like for it to have carried on enough for you to find out how the hell he learned to do what he does. That's the only thing I really want. Well, he, he learned it. Yeah, apparently, he learned it off his dad, didn't he, or something in the yeah, jungle? Yeah, he's, he's dad, yeah, some tribe out in the jungle. A witch doctor. Some yeah. long oh, lost that? tribe. Yeah. Actually, there is a sequel to Malimal. Is there? Yeah. Uh, how come I've not heard about it? What is it then? A book or something? Well, it, I don't. I don't well, it's what. It, it, did you ever remember a superhero series in the nineties called Nightman? It no, was terrible. That's not ringing a bell. Uh, no. They made three seasons of it, but what they did was the they were made in mid nineties. They brought Malimal back for one episode. There was some guy. Oh, I did hear he came back for something. Yeah, yeah, I, like, um, yeah, yeah. Simon the Corky Bell. Yeah, they yeah. were hoping to get some off, but it like a backdoor work. kind of. Yeah, I heard something yeah, about that. Now yeah. you said that, that rings a bell. Yeah. I think you might have talked about it. We, we we actually reviewed it back in the day. Then Nightman, uh, yeah. I think it's. One thing that's quite seven. interesting that you said that is it, it lasted for three seasons, and you remember yeah. how. Back in the 80s, three seasons was kind of the minimum any show got. They were either yeah. cancelled at the, at the pilot yeah. stage, or you got yeah. three, seasons. three seasons. And if it were canned right. after three seasons, you were a pretty fit show. Uh, uh, but there was none of this being canned after one season. Yeah, or oh, oh, yeah. four episodes. Yeah. 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 Today, they just drop it, don't they? Just well, no, but I mean, um, Manimal yeah. was canned after about, what, eight episodes in the first season? Eight, yeah, something like that. Yeah. 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 Uh, and Automan was similar, I think. Yeah, yeah, uh, it wasn't any. Wasn't many. Um, I did. Street I did, Hulk, like, I did like Street Hawk. Street, Street Hawk. Hawk. Got as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Have we covered Street Hawk? No, I've not seen Street Hawk for a long time. You've never I've... seen it. I don't know. I don't remember it. If I if I saw it, it must I be thirty years ago. Covered Street Hawk. Street Hawk. It's like a one season thing. Then was it? Yeah, the cancel. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> okay. Canceled. Street Hawk. So what? Wasn't that? Um, it was a bike, wasn't it? What was Street Hawk again? It was a motorbike. It Night was bike, Rider yeah. on a bike, yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. Night Rider on a bike. That's what it was. It yeah, was cooler that. than yeah. Night Rider. Was it? Nah, no, I disagree. Night no, Rider, no, come really. on, that's a cool classic. I thought straight yeah, well it's straight oh, it had machine guns, laser guns, turbo boats. But Night Rider went on for about what five seasons, didn't it? And, and it did, but it didn't, it didn't have any machine guns or rockets, did it? I mean come on, you had super pursuit mode. I mean you couldn't go wrong oh, with that, that. Night Rider. You mean when oh. all the bits came out? Yeah. I think that's when it jumped the shark is when <laughs> when it came out with a traffic super <laughs> pursuit mode. That was later and, on, and, that and was and like the, season and four. The or something. convertible thing, the, the convertible yeah. system that that was crap. It just he needed I mean, to die at that point. The the one vehicle that was cooler than all of them was of course obviously I was. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I love Airwolf. I, 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 I did like Blue Thunder though. Yeah, Airwolf was better though. Yeah, I did. Well. I did read something recently that they are that a lot of them shows um, are looking. They're looking at doing a remake of a lot uh, of them, and yeah, then combining, like say, them, yeah, combining them into a into a show or a film of its own with all of them. Uh, like a crossover thing. The, yeah, the, yeah, universal, yeah the universal universe. Yeah. 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 I'll check it out. I read that. Uh, I suppose at this point, um, we better actually uh, rate the actual uh, film. Well, then. we have to ask the question. The first question is, would you have it in the collection? Definitely, for me. Malcolm? Well, I have done. I've had it in my collection for like 20 years so, now. Yeah, so it. it's, it's not and a you. double disc with Breakfast yeah. Club. Yeah, no, it's a good show. So I suppose also rate it out of 10. Um, 10. 
I wouldn't give it as high as that. I'd give it an eight. No, I do. I give it a ten. I mean, it's perfect. You give lots of me. tens, though. That means everything's a ten. Most I've been generous lately. I've been in a good I know. Mood. I'll give it an eight ten. out of ten. I like it a lot. Right. Malcolm? Well, seven and a half, definitely. Okay. Seven and a half. Yeah, I think that's fair enough. Yeah. All right. That's fine. Well, listen, thanks, guys, for that. Um, it's obviously um, it's certainly a film which is worth checking out if you haven't seen it. Um, it's out there in various platforms which can potentially magically appear on your screen if you know where to look which obviously we're not going to post the links to there um thank you guys for that we're going to sort of wrap up because we've only got about three minutes left on the uh, dreaded zoom again so next week we're going to review the end of discovery we're going to talk about season five which um has had its highs and lows but it's worth talking about it and basically just to actually focus on the entire series whether it was um considered to be a series worth being called a Star Trek series, or whether it was, it's a very, very complicated one. This one, um, I will yes, say now that it's my, it's my least favorite Star Trek live action series ever. Um, it's got so many problems, but you know, if it wasn't for that, we wouldn't have got Picard season three. So, in, in, in many ways, it's because of that we got for me the best Star Trek in twenty years. So, um, hopefully, that will be a good review. We'll be saying the TARDIS. Oh yeah, I've got it put away. But yeah, I've got the new TARDIS, which I've got. Uh, Mark Wright was a guy on Facebook who built this thing it for me. It looks very good. It's really good, and I'll post it on. I put it on um, on Facebook and stuff. I've seen it time. online. So yeah, it's bad. really, really good. Very cool. well, so, um, yeah. Very, very professional. So I'm very pleased with it. Um, so um, now that they are potentially bringing back national service for younger people <laughs> with regard to the elections, which I've already Malcolm knows about this. I know it's not exactly the same as the old national service, but even so. Um, I'm going to leave this episode with a party political broadcast by the Dalek Empire. Yeah, I, I have to say when I made that announcement last week and I heard things can only get twat. better, I, I just <laughs> told them. So I could not, I just cringed for him. When I, I, he were there, they were pissing it down. I thought, oh why, are you doing, why are you embarrassing this entire country? And, was, and then I heard it in the farcical. background. Things can only yeah. get I better. Thought, Am I watching a comedy here? There was an episode of Father Ted where it was the Eurovision Song Contest and Ireland yeah. were deliberately trying to make a bad song because they got sick and tired of hosting it every year. And someone says, is this like the episode of Father Ted where they're deliberately trying to come up with the worst possible ideas in order yes. to lose the election? So, like I said, we're not going to go too political on this thing because that's not what people are here for. Well, but you remember that, that things can only get better. Man. Labour used that years ago. And yeah, yeah. Went nuts. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. Well, it's, 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 it's moving back up the charts again, apparently. Oh, it's not. Is it? You're joking. <laughs> Are you joking? Are you serious? No, Dad got a note thing about it. Somebody said on it. has been manoeuvring around, yeah. yeah. This is more money for what's his name? Brian Cox, the old. Oh, yeah. the old he's the yeah. keyboardist for yeah. D Ream, wasn't good he? Good song, though. It's yeah. a good track. Yeah. But even so. Anyway, we, we should see how it goes. But uh, yeah, my son's not I just like right to say, Vote Dalek. On oh, Dalek. The right, yeah. and so we're going to leave that with a link to this party political broadcast from the Dalek Empire. Martin, Malcolm, thank you very much. We'll catch you next week yep. on the Solo One Pro Sci Fi Pro Podcast. Pro Pro Prosper. Cheers. Now is the moment for Britain to choose its future. To decide whether we want to build on the progress we have made or risk going back to square one with no plan and no certainty. Earlier today, I spoke with His Majesty the King to request the dissolution of Parliament. The King has granted this request, and we will have a general election on the 4th of July. Tonight, the Prime Minister has finally announced the next general election. A moment the country needs and has been waiting for. And where, by the force of our democracy, power returns to you. And now, following the announcement of the general election, please direct your attention to the following party political broadcast. Tonight. The Prime Minister has finally called a general election. 
This gives the people of the United Kingdom the opportunity to vote for change. To vote for a party that is ready for government. To vote for a party that will take your continued survival seriously. The Conservatives have left you without food and shelter. They have persecuted those that are different from them. They have made your lives miserable. These are all policies stolen from the Dalek Empire! And we can't have that. So on the 4th of July, we encourage you to vote for your Dalek Masters. To vote for a kinder, gentler form of government, comparatively speaking. To vote for a party that will ensure resources are shared equally. For a party that will, admittedly, oppress and exterminate you and rob your world of its resources for the furtherment of the Dalek Empire. But you can rest assured that we will at least be honest with you about it. Also, we will ensure that our press conferences take place indoors when it is raining, rather than making everyone stand in the street and get wet. We'll even let Larry inside so that he stays dry. The Daleks reign supreme! All hail the Daleks! He gets you looking one way and then, you know... Well, I didn't want to say tackles you from behind because that might come out kind of bad, you know. I was going to get you from behind, but I was like, I would feel a little bit, you know, homophobic saying that, you know, RTD is a gay man, after all, but... Uh, <laughs>